Hey everyone, welcome to this very own channel, Baiju's 9th and 10th and yes, today is a new session. Today we are going to discuss on lens formula, magnification and power of lens. So yes, hello, good evening, namaste, sasriyakal and my name is Saurabh and you know what, we'll deal a lot of physics together. So, am I clearly audible visible? Let me know first of all. Good evening, good evening. Yes, folks, I'm assuming that you would have revised the previous sessions of light because you know what, we have covered quite a lot of concepts in light. Today is another session on lens formula. And how many of you think lens formula is difficult? Harsh, little an idea, Ram se. Koi baat Right? So, I'm hoping that you would have revised the mirror formula, the concepts of mirror formula, sign convention, and today we'll talk about magnification, lens, power of lens, by the way. Yes. Focus, focus, guys. Am I audible to you? Yes? No? Hello? Because I feel, I feel audience is quite distracted today. Yes, at least I, I want to see people who are here to study. Let me know, come on. Yes. Uh, now, now it feels good. Okay, okay. Aram se lenna bhai ID, koi baat nahi, kahi nahi jare. Hey Ayush, yes, nice. So good to know that we have people who are here to study and you know what, that's what matters because that's why we are doing these sessions. So, all right, all right, so let's move forward and meanwhile, if there are people who need to join, they can join, all right, yes. And by the way, uh, this is something we, we, every session we tell this to you, right? We have all these packages you can try, you can buy because light is one chapter which is there. So the reason I'm telling you because light is something we are covering and in these sessions also light is there. So when you also try the light concepts in these sessions, you'll understand what are the limitations of the platform YouTube and what else you can get, right? So I'm suggesting you go ahead, try it, right? Yes, is there. It's a very simple thing, is there. Yes, okay, fine. So go ahead and there is one important thing with these introductory pack sessions, right? These small uh, uh, packages, you also get a one month access to the Baiju's premium app and unlimited access, right? So you can try everything. All the Explore games, uh, all the ILEs, all practice questions, Quizzo, everything, right? Go ahead, you can try it, fine. Nice, all right, all right guys. Now, how many of you remember that there was this one homework question before? And yes, some of you also answered for this. Hello, hey everyone. So, the lens used in spectacles, and I asked this to you, uh, how many of you wear spectacles or how many of you have seen? And yes, I, I'll take names of people who answered the, the, for this question. Try to infer the information regarding the lens from the uh, prescription given by the optician following the eye examination, right? Yes, Poonam, I'm here to help, definitely. All right, so this was a homework question and very nicely and very proudly I can say, I can see uh, Muskan, she answered this question, right? She's saying used when a person is unable to see close objects clearly, so yeah. I can see you are giving me answer of convex and concave lens, right? Correct. Nice. I also wear spectacles. Nice. So, Amulu also have said another person I know uses concave lens. Power is minus 25 diopters. Okay. Amazing artist said that my grandma uses bifocal lens. Yeah, this was a very nice answer by the way. So, this, this shows that you have observed around you. Nice. Very good. Correct. So, uh, Mahamaya, you were saying that you only use spectacles, you have problem in seeing far objects, 
nice and this one was a little ambiguous answer of homework question is convex lens this was not the question by the way right Lakshit nice Ashi good so glad to see all your answers and there's a reason I ask these questions see homework questions is not just for homework they are meant to at least give you a push in the direction for which it will be helpful for you in the next session so today this homework question will help you out in this session okay Achha, Shruti, you are saying you are not able to post messages in Baiju's channel. Comment section you are saying in YouTube you are not getting. It's, it should not be possible. Because I remember you have raised this concern before also. Alright, alright. I'll, I'll tell this in the, in the uh, team once. Alright, okay. Okay guys. Now, this is one of the prescription. This is one of the eye prescription I borrowed from my friend. Yes, you can say borrowed. Right, so uh, that's why I have written all the names. Uh, you can see these numbers, right? Right eye, left eye, there are some numbers minus 3, minus 0 0.75, axis, minus 3, minus 0.5, axis, right? Ha, abnormal, you are coming towards uh, polarization and color blocking, but today I won't talk about that, don't worry. Hey, Yoshika. All right. So, so in prescription, whenever you see these numbers, they are meant to mean something, right? They are not there just as a code. They mean something. What do they mean? Any idea? And I think, yeah, yeah, never. You know, privacy. Tomorrow, what if the person come back to me and say you have you have uh, used my prescription without my permission because I told you it's borrowed. <laughs> yes. Poonam, but we are here, no, we are live, don't worry. <coughs> so I think it's sometimes you feel recorded classes, so they are meant, uh, wherever you are facing problem, no? you go ahead, because all the interactions, the kind of animations we can use in the recorded ones, they are pretty good. So that's why they are meant to uh, uh, support you in that way. Right? So, what do these numbers are, are uh, uh, representing? The minus 3, minus 0 0.75, what do you think? Okay, okay. Amalu has given an answer. I can see. I won't say it's right or wrong, but yes, it's an answer. And that's first requirement. He answered. Nice. It's okay if you don't know. That's okay. Acha, acha, have you remember this thing? When we say, what is your... Uh, power of your lens it's something related to power and don't worry don't worry by the end I'll explain it to you what exactly is this yeah don't worry don't worry yes come on so to understand that let's start with something which we already know what we know right? yeah yeah Poonam. they are not but these are right so that's why the two teacher advantage is in which there is a live teacher also that's why and I understand what you are talking about. Don't worry. I'll comment on this in the in the end. Yeah, don't worry. So yes, let's start with something which we already know. What is what is something that we know? We need we know focal length. So convex length it has a it is a converging lens. It has a focal length which is to the right. All right. Concave lens is a diverging lens. Now guys, this is something which we all have learned till now. That's why I need help. I want you to recall everything very quickly. Come on, take it. Right. Nice, nice, minus three, good. So, concave lens, it's a diverging lens, we all know. Parallel rays come and then they get diverged after concave lens. Fine, that's that's true. Now, sign convention, very quickly. Thank you, Ganga. Right, come on. Sign convention. See, we all know this thing. That's why I'm running, okay, minded. And people, if you are having confusion in these things, because I understand, I'm rushing a little bit, at least in sign convention focal length, because... We have done this before. We have done this multiple times, right? So that's why. Go ahead, watch the previous sessions. Okay? Uh, it's there, but not this much. Formula, formula, not this much. That's it. Okay? Nice. Very good. Very good. X2, XY. Sign convention is spherical lens. What is sign convention? Very good. Right is positive, left is negative. Simple. Right is positive, left is negative. 
and I have explained this to you one more important thing right is positive left is negative is okay that is fine but what is the starting point the direction of incident light whenever your object is to the left then left is negative right is positive that's okay why because if you measure in the direction of incident light means you are measuring in the positive direction right so in the direction of incident light is positive opposite to it is negative and that is the reason when your object was here incident light was like this so that is why going towards right is positive going towards left is negative and I am explaining this again by the way I have explained this in mirrors also if if tomorrow let's say any any competitive exam any question comes in front of you and saying object is like this where will be the image formed now what happens now what happens this is the incident ray direction means this direction becomes positive this direction becomes negative right sir what about up and down what about up and down up and down means above principal axis is plus below principal axis is minus so that remains same that still remains same got it fine right this is important guys I'm telling you this is important because right is positive left is negative is okay we all know that but I'm telling you why and what will happen if somehow the question tries to confuse you with putting the object on the right side okay and up is positive down is negative you to rahega rahega right and left may change ho sakta hai there can be a change in right and left depending on from which direction the incident light is coming fine okay got it focus 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 guys focus right hai na yes yes raj is there fine himani koi baat nahi so i i have a friend in my in my team uh, uh, i have one friend who had this thing and now it is it's okay it's curable by the way yes uh, Oh, minus 3.5. Minus is uh, minus minus 1.75. I think it's increased now slightly. So I'll need to get it checked. It's been around one year. I haven't got it checked. Right? So I'm repeating it by the way. Up and down positive and negative is okay. You should remember that. But if you move in the direction of incident light, it is positive. If you move away or opposite, it is negative. That's why whenever you keep object to the left, right becomes positive and left becomes negative when you keep object to the right the left become positive and right becomes negative okay right yes fine Are it's okay nowadays uh, specs are in style so i i do two things because of style specs and this okay fine so that's why specs are good man i i mean i like specs my specs hata ke ajeeb lagta hu i think i have i have heard this thing when i don't wear specs i look i look weird so that's why I like specs. Yes, fine. All right, let's move forward now. That's why left is negative and right is positive. Up is positive and down is negative. Fine, okay. <laughs> like ghost. <laughs> Thank you, large gamer. Yes. So direction of incident light. Positive, negative, negative, positive. Sign convention in spherical lenses is similar as in mirrors. Okay, na? It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not different. Fine. Yeah, please, Mani Oh, hey, happy birthday, Kuldeep. So, same with convex lens. Same thing. Up is positive, down is negative. Okay. <laughs> yeah, true, Imani. And right is positive, left is negative. Okay. This is something which we know. Fine. All right. Lens formula. Ha. Now coming to lens formula. Right. Yes, let's coming to the lens formula. Achha, what was mirror formula? Anybody? Remember, do you remember that? What was mirror formula? One upon, one upon what? One upon? One upon u, one upon v, something, something, plus, minus, what was it? Anybody remembers, huh? Kisi ko yaad hai? Mirror formula kya tha? Anyone? Yeah, yeah, we'll celebrate Kuldeep's birthday in the end. Come on. Nice. 1 upon V plus 1 upon U equals 1 upon F. V was the image distance. U was the object distance. F was the focal length. Right? Correct? Hai na? Bahut badiya. Achha, hai. Okay. Right? So, 
लेंस फॉर्मूला इज वन अपॉन वी माइनस वन अपॉन यू इक्वल्स वन अपॉन एफ अच्छा हैज एनी वन ट्राइड द डेरिवेशन ऑफ मिरर फॉर्मूला बिफोर आई 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 आज यू दिस बिफोर I asked this. Uh, has anyone tried to derive the mirror formula? Did you try it? Yes. Nice. Good. Good. क्या random comment कर रहे हो large gamer? <laughs> yes. It's difficult, ना? Nah? Okay. So it's okay. If you're bad at deriving, that's that's not a problem. Yes. So the reason I'm asking this to you is because if you are, if you tried it, so the comment section, the comment section of the video is a good place where you can tell. So I tried deriving, I could not. Please make a session on that. So you know what? That's how we'll plan. I can even make a small recorded session on how to derive the mirror formula and the lens formula. It's not difficult. It's just simple geometry. You have to make make some things. You know, you have to deduce something similar triangles, and you then you will get it. Right? It's okay. Hey Krishna. No, no, you're not that late. It's okay. You just missed the sign convention, and we have just arrived on lens formula. Okay? All right, all right. I'll I'll make a session on that. Don't worry. Right? But you know what? I'll make a recorded one on that so that you can just refer. Because if you have tried yourself, you will understand it easily, है ना? Yeah, yeah, Shruti. Ganga, put that in the comment section, है ना? Don't worry. We'll take care of it. Okay, so one upon v minus one upon u equals one upon f. This is different. Why? In mirror, it was one upon v plus one upon u equals one upon f. Here it is minus. Now I understand a lot of times we get confused in mirror formula. Me minus tha, ki lens me minus tha. So mirror was the first thing, and in the first thing you don't complicate that. So pehle jo humne padha na, humne pehle kya padha? Mirror formula. It was simple. One upon v plus one upon u equals one upon f. Then we went to lens. अच्छा second वाले में कुछ special था क्या special था minus था So this was the second formula you used in lens, right? So this was one upon v minus one upon u equals one upon f. ठीक है A simple way of remembering. ऐसा कुछ special नहीं है यहाँ कोई trick नहीं बता रहा हूँ मैं I'm just telling you जो हम पहले पढ़ते हैं whatever you study first you keep it simple. So that was one upon v plus one upon u equals one upon f. The thing which you study second or the second time or later. There is something special. What is special? कुछ special है क्या special हो सकता है Minus ही हो सकता है So one upon v minus one upon u equals one upon f. इतना ठीक है All right? Yes, yes. I'll make. Don't worry, don't worry, guys. Fine. So this is lens formula. अच्छा What was magnification in mirror formula? Anybody remembers? Rishika depends on which side the image is being formed. है ना So it's okay. You can use the right one if it's on the right. You can use the left one if it's to the left, right? Yeah, Gracie, that's true. All right, all right. I'll give you example. Don't worry. So minus v upon u was for magnification in mirrors. In lens, in lens, it's only the changes of minus sign. It is v upon u. See, again, guys, focus. What is magnification? Magnification? क्या होता है? Magnification means how big. Right? It's a ratio of height of image upon height of object. The image is how big than the object. That's why the most basic formula is H I upon H O, image upon object. And you can understand if it's height upon height means it will be just a number. Magnification will have no unit. Remember it, है ना? Right? So magnification will have no unit. That's important. This can also come. The unit of magnification is what? four options or no unit so that's why i'm telling you magnification it's a ratio no unit kyun hoga so and when you derive it again with simple geometry i'll i'll explain this to you whenever i make a video i'll explain this also there how you got v upon u theek hai it comes to be v upon u all right yes no unit because it's a ratio so it is v upon u mirror mein kya tha Minus v upon u. So in mirror formula, it is one upon v plus one upon u equals one upon f, and m equals h i upon h o equals minus of v upon u. These are all the formulas you have in light, by the way, right? है ना? These are all the formulas. It refraction में there is something else also. Refractive index क्या है? Refractive index in Snell's law you know this, no? In refractive index, speed of light in vacuum upon speed of light in the medium. That is refractive index, right? It's in measure of how optically denser your medium is. 
हाउ मच बेंडिंग विल हैपन है ना बोज एटोमिक मॉडल आई थिंक कृति मैम इज अ बेटर पर्सन टू डू इट एंड इलेवन ट्वेल्व में आई डू इट इन इन मॉडर्न फिजिक्स यस ऋषिका डोंट वरी Uh, whatever video or whenever I make this video, you know, about the derivation of mirror formula, lens formula, and magnification, I'll, I'll include everything. Don't worry, right? Yes. So this is about about mirror, and this is about lens. Now, one thing is pretty sure. What will be sign of magnification of real image formed by lenses? Can you tell me? This question, guys, come on. This is for you to answer. What will be the sign of magnification of a real images formed by lenses? I'm good, Vignesh. How are you? Yes. Come on. Okay. Yes, yeah, says negative. Pari says negative. Rishika says negative. Abnormal wumpus. You say negative. Amulu says positive. All right. See. What did I tell you? Most basic formula of magnification is H I upon H O. Now H I. and real image real image in lenses this is a real image only no why because because light rays are actually intersecting on the right so this is a real image now hi hi is below the principal axis means it is negative height of object it is above the principal axis means it is positive so negative upon positive it is what negative only no that's why minus when the magnification is negative it means it's a real image got it fine theek hai that's how that's how you have to take care of these things it's not positive guys it's negative negative means ne negative means height of image is below principal axis height of object is above principal axis so one thing becomes really important whenever you are putting values in these no always always put them with their sign proper sign convention theek hai yes so virtual me acha theek hai manasvi has asked one question everyone focus so manasvi has asked one question in virtual image what will be the sign if in real image you see what in real image you see hi upon ho it is coming out to be negative hai na why because image was below principal axis object height was above principal axis so that's why it was coming out to be negative in a virtual image what happens object and image on the same side image is virtual erect and upright hai na it's upright only no so that's why both are above principal axis means plus upon plus it will be positive hai na it will be positive same side hai na correct so i think doubt clear no problem in this very good so what is our conclusion if m is positive now you know what what happens this particular thing which we have just now discussed a lot of students end up remembering it If M is positive, you know what? Then image is virtual, virtual. Ha. अच्छा नहीं नहीं positive में virtual था, real था, real यार. I forgot, I forgot. Don't do that. Why? Why do you want to do it? If your concepts are clear, भाई magnification क्या है? M is H I upon H O. If it is positive, means oh, both are on the same side of principal axis. Ah, ठीक है. Means it is virtual. If it is negative, it is real. Simple, है ना? Got it? Don't cram it. I'm telling you, I've seen a lot of students. and i have scolded a lot of students please don't cram it guys you know it the concepts are clear you can do it very easily bas ye yaad apne aap ho jayega isko ratne ki zarurat nahi padegi theek hai virtual image it's seen but on the other side on behind right only in one line you can see it by the way i can nahi rishika mirror ke andar again think in terms of mirror i would say take take a minute mirror mein socho in kon ke mirror what all cases are possible right and then you will get the answer yes yes it's it and you know what h i upon h o you will understand concave may you always get real inverted h i h i is negative h o is positive yes you will get negative right and when it is between pole and focal you will get plus yes hai na good yeah yeah they are confusing that's why i'm saying don't rush into things take time मिरर यहां सोचो लेंस यहां सोचो एंड यू नो व्हाट स्लोली स्लोली यू विल स्टार्ट मेकिंग कोरिलेशन बिटवीन दीज टू राइट गुड फाइन सो इफ एम इज नेगेटिव मींस इट इज रियल सो ऑल राइट ऑल राइट सो विद दिस आई वुड से लेट्स डू वेरी क्विकली अ नाइस इंटरेक्टिव क्वेश्चन सो दैट एट लीस्ट वी फ्रीज आवर नॉलेज ओके फाइन सो लेट्स गो अहेड आर वी रेडी फॉर फॉर द क्वेश्चन गाइस यस 
All right. Yeah. Visualization is very important. Yeah, that's true. Nice, Gracie. That's correct. That's correct. All right. So, let me start. Move the object in front of a convex lens. Which lens is it? It's a convex lens, right? Super ready. Using the slider and observe the image size for different positions. See, we have done a similar kind of thing, but today we'll do a concise version of that. Height of object is given to you as 2 centimeters, right? And let's say when you move it, height of image is 1 centimeter. Where is the object? Object is beyond center of curvature, right? Beyond C1. This is my object. Now I understand when the object is beyond center of curvature, image will be real, inverted, diminished, where? Between C and F. How do you know, sir? Because in mirror also it used to happen, no? When the object was beyond C, image was between C and F. It was real, inverted, diminished. Same thing. That is right, you know? So, since the image is half the size of object and is inverted, magnification is minus 0 0.5, you know? True. Image is minus 1. Object is plus 2. So, 1 upon 2, it's minus 0 0.5. What is the use of concave mirror? Shruti, we have done this. We have done this, concave mirror. Dentist mirror, wherever you want magnified image, virtual image, you go, you go for concave mirror. Yes. So in the telegram group, uh, we give you all the notes. So whatever I'm teaching, I give you everything in a PDF form, right? So don't worry. Telegram channel, I'll talk, I'll talk about this later. Now, second, second. Now, now see the object is at center of curvature, right? True, make a mirror, right? At center of curvature, height of object is 2, height of image is 2. Object is at center of curvature. Image is going to be real, inverted on the other side of the lens and same size, you know? Yes. Okay. So that's why, since the image is the same size as the object in inverted magnification, is minus 1, simple, you know? By Height of image is same as height of object. The only difference is image is below principal axis. Object is above. So that's why negative upon positive. It is negative. Simple. Hai na? True. Hey Chitra. Yes. Chalo, hai. Let's see the next one. Now the object is between C1 and F1. Between center of curvature and focus. Okay. Now, now from my learning of mirror also, I know this thing. When the object is between C and F, I get an image beyond C, it is real, it is inverted, it is magnified. Are wa, same thing is happening in lens also. Hai na? Object is between C and F, image is beyond C, it is real, it is inverted, it is magnified. Hai na? Yes, yes, Manaswi, you can take, definitely, you can take 2F1 and 2F2, yes, definitely. Achha, you are not able to access the telegram link. Uh, Alright, so happy, just put this in the comment section of the of the video also, so that team can take care of this. Alright, yes, true. Images double the size, means it is minus 2. Why minus? I told you, minus means inverted. Simple, hai na? Okay, now let's see, next one. Now, object is between optical center and focus, or you can say F1. Hai na? So what we get? We get image as... Ah, this is a special case. In mirror also it was a special case. Virtual, erect, magnified. Same thing here. It is virtual, it is erect, it is magnified. And on this, on this bus, only difference is, only difference is on the same side. Right? Okay? Yes, good. So, on the same side. But here, object height is 2, uh, image height is 4. So, which means magnification is 2 plus 2. Right? It means it is erect. It is upright image. Okay? Fine. Easy. And it's easy till now. No, no problem till here. Anna? Nice. So happy. Uh, the channel has replied to you and they have given you a link in the chat itself. Right? True. Yes. Concave mirror is much similar to convex lens. That's true, Rishika. And that's actually the correlation I'm trying to build in your mind. No problem. Very good. Very good. Chalo, hai. Let's go back to the session. All right. Yes, yes. Come on. Let's go back to the session. All right. All right. Yes. Cool. 
चलो ठीक है इफ वी हैव लर्न दिस लेट्स डू अ वेरी सिंपल पोल क्वेश्चन कैन वी हैव अ पोल क्वेश्चन प्लीज देर आर फोर ऑप्शन इन दिस एंड वेन एवर आई से विल स्टार्ट अ टाइमर राइट द मैग्निफिकेशन प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय स्फेरिकल लेंसेज फॉर डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट लोकेशन आर गिवन टू यू विच ऑफ दीज वैल्यूज इंडिकेट्स दैट द लेंस यूज इज कॉन केव लेंस फोर ऑप्शन आई गिव यू थर्टी सेकेंड आई वी रेडी so just hold on give us give us uh, 5 10 seconds acha happy you are saying again the same thing is happening what is the message you get when you try yes are we ready now all right your time starts now <laughs> yes shruti you guessed it correct <laughs> class is stop i don't think so is it i don't think anybody else is facing this problem saksham i think this might be an issue hey yashwant oh okay okay which of these values indicate that lens use is a concave lens see in convex lens we just learned it can be plus also it can be minus also right most of the cases it was minus there was one case it was plus right but in the cave of case of concave lens it is always always virtual and erect image right it's always right it's always virtual saksham it might be a net issue just uh, either refresh it or try to rejoin because class is not its class is still uh, so happy you need to have a, a try it in your phone you know telegram link try it in your phone it will route to the telegram app it's a concave lens always virtual always erect means object and image both are erect means it will be plus so that's why plus is the answer right and third thing is always diminished same thing same thing like convex mirror also in convex mirror what used to happen virtual erect diminished every time hamesha hai na same thing with concave lens also right virtual erect and diminished so that is why first you figured out plus then you figured out because of diminished it should be less than 1 and that's why option b is the correct answer okay hai na yes correct point fee is less than 1 that's why nice nice guys so if you have figured If this much is clear to you, I'm telling you, light me, कोई आपको हिला नहीं सकता है ना धीरे-धीरे. You are figuring out everything. Nice. Okay. I see a lot of confusion between B and A. Okay. I know why it was. ठीक है? Yes. Fine. So let's see. Come on. Next. The magnification produced same thing is there, bro. So always you get a virtual erect and diminished image in the case of a concave lens same as we have in convex mirror hai na yes chirag i will provide the notes don't worry telegram channel pe i give you notes for each and every session don't worry about that hai na and i also give you the homework question there so yes magnification is hi upon h o equals v upon u hai na numericals hard it's okay we'll do a lot of practice with numericals guys don't worry about that board mein aapko jhukne nahi dega main है ना डोंट वरी रुकने नहीं देंगे हम नाइस ऑल राइट दैट इज वाई द आंसर वॉज प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ऑल राइट ऑल राइट गाइज चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर डिमांड बिकॉज यू सेट न्यूमेरिकल्स आर हार्ड ऑल राइट सो लेट्स सी अ लिटिल गर्ल इज ट्राइंग टू सी एन आंच अप क्लोज चीटी है ना इट्स ट्राइंग टू सी ए चीटी अप क्लोज शी इज यूजिंग अ मैग्निफाइंग ग्लास ऑफ फोकल लेंथ टेन सेंटीमीटर शिका न्यूमेरिकल्स न्यूमेरिकल्स का टेंशन मतलब बहुत प्रैक्टिस हो जाएगा बाय द एंड यू विल बी टेलिंग मी सर न्यूमेरिकल्स बहुत हो गया इतना प्रैक्टिस तो बहुत ज्यादा होता है डोंट वरी है ना नीतीश हिंदी इंग्लिश का ना ये ये झगड़ा मैं बहुत पहले आई टेल दिस टू यू हिंदी इंग्लिश में टूडे यू हैव दिस मच सिलेबस कल के ना यू विल बी यू स्टडिंग दिस मच ऑफ इंग्लिश बुक्स सो इंग्लिश आना चाहिए कम्युनिकेटिव इंग्लिश इज नेसरी आई एम ऑल्सो सेम लाइक यू I also struggled in English. Like in Aaj, I'm teaching you in English so that you don't face this problem afterwards, you know. So that's why. Come on, glass of focal length 10 centimeters. Mind it, it's a magnifying glass. Means which lens is this? Which sa lens is it? If it is a magnifying glass, 
Shruti, focus. You just lost focus. Come on, go on. Yes. Which lens is this? The moment I say, ah, nice convex lens. Special case. Length of the aunt is 2 mm. If the aunt is 8 cm away from the lens, find out the magnification value and image length. What do you think? What do you think? In the question, question gave you a very nice hint. It's a magnifying glass. A girl is trying to see an ant up close, trying to see a magnified image of that ant. So there is one special case, hai na? what is the special case between F and O, between optical center and focus, if you keep the ant, you will get a virtual, erect and magnified image. Hai na? Hai na? Correct? Hey Nidish. Right? So that's why length of ant is 2 mm. This is the height of object by the way. Hai na? The, moment, the way we remember it. If the ant is 8 cm away from the lens, this is the object distance. Fine. Find out the magnification value and image length. Right? Nice. Nice. Very good. It's virtual. It will be virtual only. So this is the ray diagram. Between F and O, if you keep the ant, you will get a real, sorry, you will get a virtual, erect and magnified image, right? So, U is given to you, correct? U is given to you as minus 8 centimeters here. Focal length F is 10 centimeters. It is here. Asha, focal length will be plus or minus? Positive. Hoga. Hai na? Correct? It is showing the same thing. Uh, happy as a hona nahi chahiye. So if you have telegram, na, I would say uninstall the telegram once or ek bar try karna. I don't think. Or agar tab bhi hota hai, let us know in the comment section. Hai na? Okay. Why you are asking? Why it should be positive? Convex lens hai. Convex lens kya sa hota hai? It is a converging lens. So that's why when parallel rays come, they converge at a point on the right side. Right side is positive. That's why focal length is positive for a convex lens. And that's why f is plus 10 centimeters. Okay. Hai na? Amalu, on the right side. So that's why you are saying on the right side. Where is the object? Object is on the left side. Object ka hai? Object is on the left side mein hai na? So that's why focus mein rays will be meeting on the right side. Wherever is the object, you take parallel rays from that direction. Okay? So I am giving you one more way. Whichever side the object is kept, you imagine parallel rays coming from that side and see where they are meeting or where they are appearing to meet. Okay? Fair enough, okay, fine, nice. So, F is plus 10, fine. Height of object is 2 cm given to you. Length of ant is 2 mm, right? 2 mm, okay. And if the ant is 8 cm away, so U is minus 8. Sir, why minus 8? Because it is to the left. Right? Because it is to the left. Yes, Neva, you are correct. Nice, okay. So, till here, if you have figured, then we have U. Right? We have U, we have F, but we don't have V. And what is asked? Image length and magnification. If I find V, then I will get image distance also. And I can use magnification formula as V upon U and find magnification also. True, right? So that's why. Let's use the lens formula. And when you use the lens formula, you will get 1 upon V minus of 1 upon minus 8. U is what? Minus 8. No. So 1 upon minus 8, right? Equals 1 upon 10. Ab kya hai isme? So it becomes 1 by 10. So this is minus of, one, uh, minus of 1 upon minus 8. So this becomes 1 upon V plus 1 upon 8 equals 1 upon 10. Right? So when you solve it, 1 upon V equals 1 by 10 minus of 1 upon 8. So LCM will be 40. Right, 4 minus uh, 8 to 5, so minus of 1 by 40. So what do we get? What do we get? F e v equals minus 40. V is minus 40. Okay, nice. So V came out to be minus 40. Fine, alright. So what does this minus tell you? What does this minus tell you? Nice, very good, very good. You guys found magnification also. This minus tells me, yeah, we will do it, don't worry. <laughs> yes. Uh, 
Surya, there are multiple exercises. You know, this exercise also uh, is there. I'll tell it to you. Don't worry afterwards. Right. So, V is minus 40 means it is nice. One thing is it is on the left side. Fine. It is to the left side. Okay. Now, if it is to the left side and if you use the magnification formula, that is M equals V upon U. V is minus 40 centimeters. U is minus of 8 centimeters. So, this is what? 5 that is plus 5. Oh, nice. Plus 5, you get the magnification, right? Eh? Hey, Disha, it's okay. Right? Uh, uh, not real. Not real. Plus 5, mind it, plus 5. Object and image, both are erect, upright and magnified in a convex lens. It means it is not a real image. It is a virtual image, right? So that's why. This is important, guys. So, plus 5 equals HI upon 2. So, HI comes to be 10 millimeters. Achha, there is one more mistake a lot of students do in this. Sir, should I convert this 2 millimeters to centimeters? Because everything else is in centimeters. You know what? Not really. Why? HI upon HO. HI is, I don't know what, but in millimeters. Upon HO is 2 millimeters. It doesn't matter, no. It's a ratio. Okay? Fine. Yana? So, that's why. Height of image comes out to be 10 millimeters, right? Virtual and erect. Okay. Achha, let me show you two, three comments. <laughs> no, no, Disha, it, it should not be minus one. Plus minus does not matter in refractive index. Or if in, a, in any answer you saw it, let me know. I'll, I'll look into it. But I don't think it, it should not matter. There's nothing called as plus minus in refractive index. Yeah? Hey, Agrima. Yes, so Mahimaya said, in my family only I use spectacles, concave lenses and I have minus power. Okay, so Mahamaya is saying she has minus power. Okay, Amlu, you are saying one of the person you know, she is suffering from myopia and power of lens is minus 2.5 diopters. So somehow in your general language, we use this term, na, power of a lens. That's exactly what I want to talk about. Right? The power of a lens. What is power? Achha, hai. Let me tell you how to talk about power. What is, the, what is the job of a lens? To bend the light ray. Correct? To at least bend the light ray. In very simple terms, very casual terms, I can say, power of the lens is... Uh, yeah, Disha, you know what? I think someone else also had minus 6. But I'm saying that nowadays a lot of things are available. It's okay. I, I have minus 2. Right? Uh, power is lens. Let's say lens has a super power. What is it? To bend light. If it has more power, means it can bend more. Correct? Uh, nice. The power to converge or diverge. Right? Yes. So that's why. It is the degree of convergence or divergence of light rays by a lens. Correct? So if a lens is more powerful, it can Converge or diverge more. Fine. Getting it? It's okay. It's okay. Riva. Yes. Correct. So power is 1 upon focal length in meters. Now, uh, trap alert. Guys, trap alert. 1 upon focal length in meters. You know what? Many a times we forget that it should be in meters. Right? It should be in meters. I'll tell you why. A lot of times it will happen. Focal length of a lens is 10 centimeters. What is the power? Sir, power will be 1 upon 10, means 0.1. Uh, uh, 10 centimeters was given to you. We want to convert into meters. Then use it, the power, okay? Hey, na? Examples of lens for me are a lot. In your torch, in your spectacles, uh, magnifying glasses, all these are lenses only. Torch, by the way, have conve uh, concave lenses. If someone was asking, the use of concave lens is there, hey, na? Yes, always. Na, 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 Gracie. F in meters. Uh -huh, that you can do. 100 upon F in centimeters. But again, the reason I'm saying, do you really want to create another formula for you? Like this? Hey na? My question to you is, one way is, power is 1 upon focal length in meters. And you know what, sir? There is one more formula of power. It is 100 upon F in centimeters. Are wow, I have one more formula. Do you want to really learn one more formula? Aren't you fed up of formulas? Do you really want to make your life difficult? That's why I'm saying, always remember, it should be in meters. Right? 
यस एक ही फॉर्मूला से आ सकता है नॉट रिक्वायर्ड इट्स ओके राइट सो दैट्स व्हाई आई एम यस सम पीपल लर्न इट सम टीचर्स टीच दिस एज अ सेपरेट फॉर्मूला बट यू नो व्हाट इट्स नॉट रिक्वायर्ड आई वुड से है ना ठीक है हैप्पी जस्ट पुट दिस इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन आई विल टॉक दिस टू द टीम है ना वंस यस अमोलो करेक्ट सो nice you are right over there because of si unit focal length you put in meters and that's how you get power and the unit of power is diopters d is what we call it hai na <laughs> yes okay you knew it before very good yes it is optional correct so that's why optical power is positive for convex lens any doubt in this statement if i tell you that for convex lens optical power is positive It's okay, no, not a problem, na. And for concave, it is negative. Boy, if for convex lens f is positive, means power is also positive. For concave lens, if f is negative, means power is also negative, है ना? Same thing. You are doing just reciprocal in meters, simple, है ना? So that's why combination of lenses. This is important. This is very interesting as well as important. If you connect two or more lenses, and you know what? Amazing artist here. Had a very nice comment. My grandma uses bifocals. Means what are bifocals? It's like a combination of two lenses, right? So, when you use more than one lens, you want to find total power. Yeah, you know? P one plus P two plus simply add with the sign. Mind it with the sign. Okay. Right. Yeah. Happy. I, I'm just. I'm just telling you. Uh, put this in the comment section. Let let the team take care of it. Nice combination lenses, not difficult. Very simple. P one plus P two plus P three. But make sure you keep it with the sign, proper sign, है ना? Yes, Manasvi. Yes, it's there. It's there. All right. Now, a one very simple question to you. A person is prescribed to use a lens with a power specification of plus two point five diopters. Identify the type of lens and the focal length of this lens. Come on. It's very easy. Come on, guys. Give me the very quick answer. Very quick. Very quick. Power is positive. Means focal length is also positive, right? A focal length positive. Who's got that? Power is positive. Means it's a convex lens. And one upon. 2.5 is 0.4. Again, it is coming in meters. So this is 40 centimeters. It's a convex lens. Simple, right? It's a very easy question. So that's why I would say, see, I had one more, one more interactive game for you. But you know what? We'll do it some other day because you know we are we are already past the time limit. So we have learned about sign convention by lenses, power of lenses, lens formula, its magnification, and I have interesting homework question for you. Come on, come on, take a screenshot first. observe the ray diagram and find the height of the image formed by the lens and yes i have taken your feedback we'll try or actually we'll do more practice questions on on light menti is also in the menu don't worry don't worry all right ye sab hoga right taking the screenshot fine so what i'm trying to tell you is the light chapter and the whole chapter of your board of your syllabus it's being covered theek hai na that's why we are saying we have got you covered don't worry about this everything will be covered nicely theek hai fine so that's why and telegram channel i know happy you are facing problem and just put your uh, put your problem in the comment section of the video and let the team take care of it others please be a part of this channel you are getting all the notes over there and it stays there theek hai Yeah, yeah. We'll do more questions. Yes. Next is not the end. We'll revise the complete light. So, people who have missed any any of the session, this is again for you for everyone. We'll do the complete light chapter in one go. Right, June twenty ninth, Wednesday, six p.m. Please be there. It's okay. It's okay, guys. We're almost done. Last but not the least, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and share because I see like to you do sharing and subscribing something which I'm I'm little skeptical of. So please 
help us there okay how to study ncrd effectively bhumi let me take care of it don't worry you just be regular all right so guys thank you bye bye and take care